Many plants are pollinated by the wind and do not require the help of animal pollinators. Grasses, for example, as well as important food crops that were bred from wild grasses like wheat and maize, are all wind pollinated, as are the flowers of many common trees, such as willows, birches, walnuts, and hazelnuts. The flowers of plants that are animal pollinated employ many devices to attract pollinators. These frequently include large petals and sepals in a fantastic variety of shapes and colors, as well as sweet nectar, and enticing fragrances too. The flowers of wind pollinated plants, however, are quite different. Since they have no need to attract pollinators, they usually lack large petals and sepals, don't produce much nectar, and they are rarely very fragrant. Wind-pollinated flowers often have exposed stamens, so that the pollen they produce has easy access to wind currents, and they may have large and feathery stigmas and styles as well, to easily trap the wind-blown pollen grains as is the case with the silk of female maize flowers seen here. And although they don't make flowers, almost all gymnosperms, conifer trees such as firs and pines, are wind pollinated too. Their seeds develop on the surface of the scales of the female cones, while their pollen is produced by the male cones. As is true of conifers and almost all other wind pollinated plants, Pollen is produced in very large quantities and the grains are very light so that they can be easily transported by the wind. <laughs>